Hey Ross, sauce it up. Hey. If you gotta leave, then I want you to wake me when you come back. When you come back, don't have my Yo, what's up guys? In this video I'll be showing you how you can edit like a pro in DaVinci Resolve. So uh right here I just have my uh just my project basically and uh, I'm gonna drag in my clip but well, uh, before I do that, I'm actually gonna go right here into the little gear on the bottom and uh, Just click on it and right here. We see timeline frame rate make it 60 FPS This is super important if you guys want to follow along with the tutorial I do suggest they make it 60 FPS if, if it's not 60 FPS, then you really can't follow along. So once you uh, Put in 60 save it and uh, I'm gonna go look for my clip It should be right here uh, Godly edit course 203 it's a clip by Zen Lick. It will take a while to load in. I should, if DaVinci Resolve, just like make sure everything fits the project. And once the clip does actually load in, uh, go into your file explorer again and find the song that you're going to want to use. And now that you have your clip and your audios, on the first audio track right here, drag it down just a bit. On your second one, drag it down a bit more. So, uh, now that you do have your song in your clip find the kill right here which should be go just go frame by frame and find where either the siphon starts or the shield gets cracked from the other character so as you can see the character turns blue right here so that means the siphon has started and uh click on the clip uh, once you've selected like where the siphon starts and add a marker on it with m and uh, now find the beat drop. Uh, you don't need to lower the volume. If you gotta. And right here, here's the main beat drop. So what you're gonna wanna do again is uh, click on the beat drop and click M on your keyboard to add a marker. And now just trim down the audio or the song so it lines up with the marker and just drag it. So yeah, just lines up. With hey Ross, sauce it up. So it should look like this. Hey. If you gotta leave, then I'm and I'm actually just gonna click put the volume a bit lower. That should be good. If you gotta leave, then yeah, and it, as you see, it is lined up. If you gotta leave, and uh, now what you're gonna wanna do is for the velocity right here, right click on the clip, and right here where you see link clips, you're gonna wanna like click on it, and basically now the clips will be unlinked, so they won't be like part of the same clip anymore. And uh, on the video track right here that you've clicked on, click Control R or Control R on your keyboard and add a speed point on the marker with by like clicking with the little triangle right here. And uh, now go uh, and find where the gun gets pulled out. So it should be this frame right here. Add another speed point and then go to around the middle of the two speed points and just add another one and for the first speed make it 50 the second speed right here just you change the speed by basically clicking the triangles and on the first speed I made it 50 on the second speed right here uh, make it 400 and drag this back drag the middle speed point back so the last speed point lines up with the marker and go one frame in front of the last speed point and uh just drag this so it overlaps a little bit so basically the last speed point is a bit uh far from or like let's see that would be good right there make it so basically the last speed point is a bit far from from the marker so and now that you have 50 speed and 400 speed, make the last speed 50. So it should look like So basically this should be good right here. And uh, now make the, uh, make the, basically make the kill part 40 frames. So go on the marker of the, clip uh, yeah of the clip and click shift plus arrow key on your keyboard and basically that makes it go 60 frames in front and now uh go 20 frames back so 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, I think I actually did 19, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just make sure it's 20. And uh, now just split uh, the clip and just delete the rest of it. So. And now what you're gonna wanna do for the build up, I don't know why I said it weird. For the build up, go 30 frames back of the marker. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, drag an adjustment clip over top of 30 frames before the marker and split it on the marker. So uh, now you do have an adjustment clip for the buildup. Go into the fusion tab while you while your markers or while your playback head is on the adjustment clip. And uh, I'm gonna go find the uh, the build up right here. It's called Sexy Warp Shake. Uh, don't judge me, just just go along with the tutorial. Uh, it'll take a while to load because it's just loading in two plugins. The BCC and Sapphire plugins will be required for this build up. Uh, just drag it in and just make sure that the that connects with the nodes. And it should basically already be keyframed. Uh, yeah, the warp. Yeah, this is keyframed already. And uh, it should look good. Just go to the last keyframe and then unkeyframe it. And uh, last keyframe again. Keyframe. So yeah, it should look good. Uh, obviously it will lag and something that will help actually is if you go into playback and timeline proxy mode you put to quarter resolution and yeah it will lag a lot and uh, now go into the effects tab right here and add another adjustment clip over top of the marker and just trim it so it ends on the clip and uh, now I'm gonna give you guys my impact which should also be in the description it's called best flicker impact this comes with two sapphire shakes a flicker and a blur mode curves which basically gives it a bit more tilt and yeah it should already be keyframed and basically yeah it looks really good and uh yeah this should be it for the first clip actually and uh I'm gonna go drag in my second clip right now into the timeline. All right, so now that I've dragged in my second clip, just do what you did with the first clip and find where the shield cracks, which should be right here. As you can see, there's blue on the character, so add a marker on it and find the second beat drop. And that is the second hard beat drop. Just add a marker on it and then just trim this down so it lines up perfectly. And uh, and uh, now I'm gonna show you uh, the velocity again. It's the exact same as my lost velocity. I'm just gonna go a little bit faster here for people who actually like no like advanced editing so at a speed point go to where the gun is pulled out at a speed point and at another speed point right here change the first speed to 50 second speed 400 do that so it lines up go one frame in front stretch it And it should look good. And I'm just gonna make this as well 40 frames. So, for those of you who know how to do this quick, just make it 40 frames. And then just trim this down. And uh, now for the impact, I'm just, you can you just use the same impact. Uh, and go to the impact, uh, the adjustment clip that's the impact 
and uh, alt and drag it. So click alt and then left click and drag it so it lines up with the with the, this clip right here. And this should be about it. I'm just gonna show you guys a quick transition. So what I'm gonna do here is an adjustment clip and put it at the beginning of everything and it should look good and then go into my edit pack it doesn't matter, really matter which one uh, just SPR 7 editing pack transitions uh, I'm gonna do zoom in RGB actually I'll just zoom in and go to the second keyframe that you see it's the second white line and uh, put your playback on it and then go back to the edit tab add a marker and then just trim this down so it fits like that and then put it in between both put the marker make sure the, uh, the marker lines up in between both clips and here we're not done yet if your clip looks like it has black bars like next to it and it's because the resolution is a bit fucked so uh, now that you have clip clicked on your clip that has the black bars right here there's basically a square that says transform and just click on uh transform and then just make sure it lines up so you can't see the black bars anymore and it should look good and basically now i will show you the color correction that i have so i will put it in the description and just drag an adjustment clip over top of everything i'd say so make sure it just lines up perfectly and go into any clip it doesn't really matter go into open effects and type in looks and drag it over top of the adjustment clip that's basically covering everything and right here you're gonna want to put in my it's called the trendy cc because right uh it's called best trend cc actually it looks really nice i really like it it's really similar to one i used in the over edit in 20 minutes uh it just gives it a nice lighter vibe to the blue and it makes the orange a bit darker and uh it should look perfect i'd say uh and yeah uh hope you guys did enjoy this little tutorial uh, if you did enjoy, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Uh, thanks so much for a thousand subs. I can't get over it still. And uh, I will see you guys in the next tutorial.